Okay, hello YouTube. Um, Windows 7 Linux again to tell you about the PlayStation 3 recovery menu. I'm going to tell you how to access it and what some of the features do. The recovery menu can fix uh, many software problems with your PS3. It won't fix the yellow ladder depth because that's a hardware problem, but a lot of software problems such as freezing or disk load errors can be fixed using this. Let me show you how to get to it first. Well, before you do anything, you're going to have to make sure your PS3 is off and you're going to have to connect your um, controller through USB. Bluetooth controllers won't work, so it has to be wired through USB. First of all, make sure your TV is on. Mine says no input, but it's set to the correct HDMI setting. And let me show you how to get to it. You're going to, you're going to want to hear four beeps. Hold down the, uh, your thumb on the uh, on button until you hear four beeps. I'll show you. I'll tell you when to take your thumb off. One beep. Two beeps. Three beeps, and then it turns off. Okay, now that is a uh, safety option built into the, that Sony incorporated into the PS3. I think it was in update 2.8. Uh, I didn't do too much research on when that was incorporated or what PS3 that applies to, but that's normal if you do get that. Uh, the PS3 doesn't know if you're, that you're trying to access that menu, so do it again. I'll show you once to take your thumb off. One beep. Three for four. Two beeps. Three, four. Take the thumb off immediately. Then it'll boot up into the recovery menu. It says connect the controller using USB and then press the, the PS button. So I'm going to press the PS button on my silver controller. And it's going to give you several options. So the first one says restart the system. The second, the second one says restore default settings. That'll set your PS3 to factory default. What the third one does is that I recommend this. I recommend number three and number four if you're facing, um, if you're facing freezing issues with XMB. Uh, what 3 does, Restore File System, is that it won't delete any of your content whatsoever. Let me just move back here. What uh, Restore File System does is that it'll scan your hard drive for um, corrupted files. I highly recommend this if you upgraded your PS3's hard drive. Quick story, my PS3, when I bought it, it was 80 gigs. Um, I had a 160 gig Western Digital lying around, so I upgraded it. And when I converted everything back, I was looking online, I was like, hmm. I said, I asked myself, is it possible that when I copied everything over, were there any corrupted files left over? Well, sure enough, when I said, um, uh, what's it called, restore file system, it said that it did find some corrupted files, and I had them all repaired. And now that makes my PlayStation 3 more stable. Number four is rebuild dat database. This is very good if uh, you've had your PS3 running for a long time, for several years. And I've searched online what that is. That's basically just defrag. That basically just defrags your PS3. Obviously, system update is self-explanatory. Restore PS3 system. That sets everything. That sets uh, your whole system to factory default settings. That will wipe your hard drive. But I recommend this, uh, number five, if you have the disk read error. Because I, um, I've seen on YouTube a lot of people who select number five, and that fixes their problems. And restore default settings. Uh, I, don't even, I don't think that deletes your hard drive, but uh, you're gonna have to, um, you don't have to take my word on that. But yeah, that's basically it. If you're having freezing problems, I recommend number three or number four if you've had it running for a long time. But I highly recommend number three if you're having freezing problems or if you upgraded your hard drive. Um, I told you I upgraded my hard drive and there's a lot of crap files lying around and that fixed them all and my PS3 is a lot more stable now. It wasn't freezing, but it's a lot more stable and notice a faster boot time. So yeah, it wouldn't help to try it. Give it a try. Remember, wait for four beeps and please comment and please subscribe. Windows 7 Linux. Bye.